What's up guys and welcome back to the Station Bakery. If you want to see how I made these cute tropical pineapple cupcake toppers, then stay tuned. To get started, I'm going to start by dusting down my surface with cornstarch. The cornstarch helps to prevent my fondant from sticking to my mat. Here, I'm just spreading it out just so I have a nice even layer covering my surface and then I will begin to roll out my fondant. Stretching and kneading your fondant will help to prevent it from cracking up when you roll it out. I also like to coat the front and the back sides with the cornstarch just to prevent my rolling pin from sticking as well. My rolling pin has guides on the side to help me make sure that I get a nice even layer of fondant. Here I'm going in and using a toothpick to pop any bubbles that have accumulated. Oftentimes a needle is used as it helps to not leave a, a huge hole when you pop the bubbles. But all I had at the moment was a toothpick, so that's what I used. And I just took my fingers to smooth out any imperfections. I also took the palm of my hand and just smoothed out my fondant even more just to spread it and give me more surface area to work with. I will be using a two inch circle cutter to cut out my toppers. I was pretty careless with cutting these out and I ended up chopping off some of the edges of them. So I had to go back in and redo a few of them. For this particular project, I was making 24 cupcake toppers. Once I had all of my toppers cut out, I then transferred them onto a cutting board. I just like to transfer them here because it makes it easy for me to transport them back and forth as I work on the different parts. To achieve the desired design, I went in and used my Cricut machine to create my own custom stencils. I could have just purchased some, but as I looked, the ones that I was interested in, they weren't going to arrive on time. So I just decided to take it upon myself to create my own stencils and they turned out perfectly. If you would like a tutorial on how I created these stencils, leave a comment below letting me know. To paint the stripes onto my toppers, I simply used food coloring, black food coloring. And I just used a very thin, fine paintbrush to go in and straighten up those lines. To keep my stencils from sliding, I simply put shortening onto the backs of them to help it stick and hold on to the fondant. Doing these by hand, it was definitely a job. I was able to strengthen up my finger, hand, and wrist muscles, so I consider that a win. I didn't mix anything in with the food coloring. I literally just took it straight out the bottle and then painted it on, and it dried pretty quickly. Here I'm using my pineapple stencil that I created with my Cricut machine to go in with my next layer for the design. To paint this next layer, I'll be going in with some gold food paint by Edible Art. However, I did find that using it just straight from the bottle, it was a little too thin and it wasn't covering over the black well. So I went and added in some gold luster dust and mixed it in to make it more of a pasty consistency. And this really helped to make the pineapple shape 
to really pop out. Now I'm working on the second half of my cupcake toppers. Here I just use a leaf plunger to cut out leaves and then I just sliced more green fondant and painted them a darker green. To adhere my fondant pieces onto my other fondant pieces, all I did was add a little bit of water onto the back I really enjoy making these and I really just took my time in doing them. It actually took me a span of over three days to actually complete this whole thing because I was just taking my time, just allowing everything to just settle and dry. But it can be totally done in a much quicker pace. This was a half and half order. So this first half are vanilla cupcakes topped with vanilla buttercream. And I decided to make it easier for them to differentiate between the different flavors to just use the pineapple cupcake toppers on the vanilla cupcakes. I'm sure that just by the looks of it, you were able to tell that this second half are strawberry cupcakes topped with strawberry buttercream. And we're gonna add a little bit of strawberry filling into the middle of that buttercream. And we're going to top these off with the leaf cupcake toppers. I think that the colors just complement so well with the pink and the green and the gold. So that's what I went with. These cupcakes were for a 13 year old's birthday party and they wanted the cupcakes in the shape of the number 13. This is my very first time ever doing a number cupcake creation and it turned out pretty well. Um, I was able to make this number out of 23 cupcakes and I had an extra cupcake left over but I just put it inside of a cup with a top on it. This was such a fun creation to make and I'm glad that I was able to share the process with you guys. As always, I appreciate your love and your support. So go ahead, give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Until next time guys, peace.